Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the second half of March 2019. This is your uh, financial reading for the second half of March. This month I go live every single day at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, by the way. So if you want to catch me live, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. But Capricorn, let's see what we have coming up for you here <clears throat> and i'm doing something new this month i'm pulling uh, three tarot cards as well to and this is just your outlook for the entire month kind of like your overview you have the nine of swords coming up first so i do feel like some of you could have lost a job or had some sort of loss financially in the past i feel like you're moving past it is what i would say here nine of swords is a card of like moving on past the past basically kind of letting your fears anxieties depressions worries go i do feel like some of you could be having sleepless nights but i almost feel like it's your dreams here especially you have the moon here coming up so i feel like some of you could be like literally having dreams at night that are like keeping you up or and i i just you know i feel like there's nothing you can do about it is what i'd say there so uh i know that's not very good advice but i do feel like you could be having dreams or you know maybe you need to go to bed and relax first or meditate first or um you know something along those lines is what i would say so that you don't go to bed all fired up um and yeah, that's what I would say there. Uh, next, you have the Six of Cups. So I do feel improvements for you overall. I feel happiness, and I feel like you are returning to happiness as well here, Capricorn. I feel like some of you could just be working on a project that actually makes you happy, and so that would be nice, or you're working on a job that makes you happy. So again, that would be good. For others, I feel like this is talking about needing to separate from like work and needing to go find happiness. So, you know, this is a financial reading, but I do feel like some of you like need to go socialize or you need to go do things that you actually enjoy doing. Because again, I feel like that will make you more money as well when you're like not so focused on just the money side of things. So I do feel like there's need to kind of like get out of your head with this card. And, you know, I feel like there's a need to like socialize and not worry about money so much and, you know, all that other stuff. And uh, finally, you have the moon. Same thing. Get out of your head, basically, is what this moon says. So it says... Do not focus too much on the negative things. I'd be, I'm getting all sorts of weird stuff for you, Capricorn. I feel like you shouldn't, like, I would say don't, like, watch TV before bed, especially, like, you know, don't watch any, like, crazy, scary movies or action movies or anything like that. I feel like sleep is very important for you for the rest of the month. I feel like you need sleep. And, and again, I feel like if you don't get it, it's going to hurt you financially because maybe you'll be making bad decisions in business or with investments or something like that. So I would just warn you, I would just say be very careful with that. I also feel like there's a, just a need to have like a very straightforward, realistic goal um, with your finances. With this card, I feel like the, for the rest, just the rest of this month, I feel like once we clear this month, things are going to be a lot better. But I would say I feel like there's a need for you to say like, you know, that maybe there's like a certain amount that you usually make in your business. I feel like you need to shoot for just that amount and just like not have any crazy goals. I feel like crazy goals or crazy dreams could be kind of like mixing you up in some way. So that's what I would say there. Uh, in the playing cards, you start off with the five of diamonds and the four of spades. Yeah, I feel like some of you want more. I do feel like some of you could be going through a financial recovery with these cards as well. So the um, four of spades is a card of recovery. Five of diamonds is a card of more money. So I do feel like some of you will be going through a financial recovery here in the near future. But maybe it's not this month. Maybe it is next month that, you know, there are better financial times. Now, this has come up for almost everybody, the five of diamonds. So it is a card of sales. I would say it cl clearly it's a good time to sell something. Um, I have the chart up over here. I don't really, you know, necessarily see it in the chart, but I guess that it could be a good time to sell something like a house or something like that. Um, you know, anything expensive that you're trying to sell, you know, but especially if you're trying to sell a house, this could be very good. Now, this could also just represent a new job that leads to a financial recovery. So if you've been having problems with your finances or if you've been having problems getting a job or making money, this could just say that there's more money coming in for you and uh, there's more money or more work and that could be very beneficial. Uh, next you have the four of hearts and the queen of hearts as well. I feel like there is more, like I said, I feel I feel like saying lazy money. Um, you know, look, look how lazy she looks here, right? So I feel like for some of you, there is money coming in, but I feel like it's taking its time. I don't think it's you that's being lazy. I feel like it's the energy itself that is being lazy. It's kind of like, um, you know, all this energy in Pisces, you know, Pisces in a lot of ways has to do with money, right? It is a 12th house, but Pisces has to do with flow and, uh, you know, things that go with the flow and all that other stuff, right? So money flows. I always say it's called currency for a reason. So, you know, it flows. And I feel like this is saying that you're kind of waiting for a flow. 
And I feel like you're waiting for more flow into your life. I always tell people like Pisces dominates the list of millionaires and billionaires in the world. And, um, you know, and you know, it's funny, it cracks me up every time I see here an astrologer say Pisces is bad with money. Cause, uh, let me tell you, Pisces is clearly not bad with money. But what I would say is that Pisces can be lazy with money and they can overspend and all this other stuff, but they can also just wait for money to come in, you know, in a lot of ways. It's like they're fish, you know, they're just kind of like sitting there in the stream. They're waiting for food to come by, you know, so they just kind of wait for, the opportunities to come by. Pisces just seems to be very good at jumping at things and kind of taking advantage of them. I feel like that's, the, I'm telling you this Capricorn, because I feel like that's the type of energy you need to use for the rest of this month. Kind of like this sit and wait type of energy as far as your finances are concerned. But I do feel like there could be right moments that come your way this month. Like, maybe you overhear your boss saying that he wants to give somebody a race and you're like right there, take advantage of it. Maybe in your business, maybe you see an opportunity to make one big chunk of money. It's like just take advantage of it. Do it. I feel like that's what you need to do with these cards. Uh, next, you have the King of Spades and the Two of Diamonds. I do feel like some of you could be getting a job as well, getting a new job. I feel like this is somebody that you see. For some of you, I feel like this could be a friend who like wants to hire you. And for others, I feel like it's just like a new business or a new job that's opening up. I feel like you see it as something to take advantage of, just like we said here, and I feel like you're going to jump onto it. I feel like it'll lead to a lot of success. For others, this could be something legal. This has come up for a lot of people as well this month, that there could be some sort of legal thing like that you would already be involved in. So it could be like a settlement. This could be like an inheritance or some type of payout that you could potentially be wait waiting for with these cards. Uh, next, you have the Queen of Clubs and the... Um, Nine hearts. I feel like there are going to be amazing opportunities for you to promote yourself this month is what I'd say here. Queen of Clubs says promote yourself. Queen of Clubs is a card of selling yourself, Capricorn. So I'd say if you're going for a job, touch up your resume. To me, this is a card of the resume. To me, this card says that you need to like touch up your resume, make it better, or add things to it. Same thing in business as well. This card is like my fake it till you make it card. It's like my card that says make yourself appear to be bigger than you actually seem. And that will lead to a lot of success. I feel like even some of you, it's like maybe you have competitive competitors in business. I feel like you need to mimic your competitors. You're not copying your competitors, but I feel like you need to mimic their look, you know, like how they appear. It's like you look at Petco and PetSmart, right? They have like the same colors, right? So I feel like, you know, a lot of you need to do that in business and, you know, in kind of mimic your competition. I feel like that will lead to a wish or a victory. For others, I feel like this could, again, just be an offer that is a wish. So I feel like you could be getting a job offer or a business offer that is a wish for you. And finally, you have the uh, Queen of Spades and the Queen of Diamonds. Look at all these queens. You have all four queens. That's pretty crazy. Queens represent a change in direction. So Capricorn, I feel like there could be a major change in direction in your finances for the better with these two cards. Queen of Spades is, again, kind of like a fake it till you make it card. It's a card of learning as you go. So in a lot of ways, this card just says you need to learn as you go in business or work. It's kind of like a card, as I always say, of jumping into darkness. It's like a card of doing something that you don't know how to do it. You know, it's like a card of accepting a job where maybe you're not qualified for it, but you do it anyway. So I feel like that there. And Queen of Diamonds is a card called the Crossroads, and it just says you have two choices. Pick the new path. So I feel like some of you could be picking new jobs or picking new businesses. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I feel like there's definitely new offers coming in for you here, Capricorn, this month. Uh, Jack of Clubs, more focus on the future. Ace of Hearts, your emotions overflowing, feeling very happy. I feel like going into next month, there's a lot more happiness for you and a lot like better uh, financial situations. But I also feel like there could just be better offers. And I wanted to pull one more tarot card as well. And you have the justice card. So definitely more balance. And again, if you're involved in something legal, I feel like there could be uh, more justice in that situation as well. But it looks like a really good month for you here, Capricorn. So thank you for watching and enjoy your month.